Hello guys! Today I'm gonna do a fun science activity. We are asked to create and show different layers of soil by using edible material. So this would be a really exciting for I will be using sweets. This time it is okay to taste the sweet material. I begin this activity by reviewing the lessons provided to us about different soil layers and I got a chance to see and touch different soil types as well. But before we dig into some detailed information about soil, do you know that there are different reasons why we must be grateful that we see soil around us? Yes! Soil is our life support system. Without soils, farmers would not be able to provide us with good harvest of food. Also, soil is the foundation of our buildings, homes, and houses. In fact, soil affects how the buildings are made. Soil is an important part of our ecosystem. By the way, do you see where I am standing right now? You're right! I am actually standing in a soil with five distinct layers. Come on, let's study soil using edible materials. For this activity, I will be using this clear glass where I will be putting the edible materials that will represent the different layers of soil. Of course, I will be using a spoon and plastic cups. For the edible materials, I have the chocolate pieces, peanuts, Oreo, milk chocolate more, sprinkles, and gummy sour. For the bottom layer of soil, it is the bedrock. It is made up of large solid mass of rocks. In the article in the Journal of Advances Modern Earth Systems, bedrock is sometimes over thousands meters deep. For this layer, I will be using chocolate pieces as these are hard and big in sizes. The next layer is known as the parent material, which consists of rocks. In the soilsforteacher.org website, it is defined as the deposit at Earth's surface from which the soil is developed. This time, I will be using these peanuts to represent the parent material in the soil profile. I think that the rocks in the parent material layer are smaller than the rocks in the bedrock layer and these peanuts fit in perfectly. There you go! We are now in the third layer. Subsoil is the next layer about the parent material. As stated in the cagebritannica.com, subsoil contains mostly minerals and a small amount of humus. Only the deepest plant roots reach the subsoil. So in this layer, we will be using fresh corn with chocolate filling. See that small amount of chocolate filling that represents the small amount of humus in the subsoil.
We're almost done! This time, let's talk about topsoil. It is the primary layer where the plants and organisms live. This layer consists of both organic matter and other decomposed materials. In my opinion, there are many nutrients in the topsoil, then the subsoil. In this layer, we will use this honey made of chocolate, as I believe that topsoil is as soft and spongy. I will also put some soft gummy candies as these look like worms that can be found in the top soil. These green sprinkles are best to use in this layer. watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot of things about the layers of soil. If you want me to post more science videos, just comment it below. Again, please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless. Bye!